Tommy, how's, how's the mood of the squad? Obviously, a change of manager during the week. How are things in the squad? Grand, look, I think players naturally get on with things. I think that's the nature of professional sport. Um, you know, if results aren't going in a particular direction, obviously managers lose their jobs. Players have a responsibility to get on with it. We have to look at the next game, and that's that's what players as a as a group have to worry about. Obviously, they didn't have a positive result the other night. Um, but I thought, look, the goals were cheap. But I thought at times we played played well, and uh, look, you have to move on. Dundalk now Tuesday night, and have to get ready for that. Four games to keep the club now in the Premier League. Yeah. It, it's a tough ask. We're just chatting to Colin about it. Um, I mean. It's looking like it's been Arsenal and Park City in the bottom two. How tough is it going to be, do you think? It's not going to be easy, but look, it's a, we're well aware of the position we're in, obviously. Obviously, we're, we're bottom of the table, 12 points to play for, and I think we're two points off Harps. We've obviously got tough games coming up, but we, we just need to worry about worry about ourselves. Harps can worry about themselves, we'll worry about ourselves, we'll focus on Dundalk first, one game at a time, and that's, that's the way you have to look at it. From a personal point of view, we're glad to be back in the team, obviously, on Friday. Pleased, obviously, yeah. I, I um, played against Waterford. I got injured then, so I was out for, I think, for six weeks. And obviously, haven't featured in the last couple of weeks. So, pleasing to play the other night. And um, hopefully, we'll be involved on Tuesday. Just catch you up. I was listening to the answer. <laughs> 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 okay, um, Colin keeps saying like it's one game at a time. Mm. You can't even focus on water with the Sunday no. on Tuesday night. But with four games, you know, you have seen so constantly, you know where you're playing. Hmm. Have you kind of in your head to be targeted where the points, where are the points going to come from? I think Colin has hit the nail on the head. I think you don't go into any game you know, expecting to lose or, or plan to lose. You go into every game, you prepare for it and you go in and you go you go full on for it. So so we're looking at Dundalk, obviously trying to get three points and um, and that's it. We can't look past Dundalk. Yeah. And I could obviously Dundalk have points to play for as well for a different reason. They need to be toured in to, to make your... Yeah, they do. Obviously, look, they're, they're at completely you know, the other end of the table to us, but it's it's three points up for grabs. It's eleven men against eleven men. This game of football over ninety minutes, and you go and you go and compete, and you try and get try and get a result. Yeah, and even though there's no obviously again, yeah, no, there's no supporters with the single three. Does it make in your own head and in the players' head? Does it make a difference to actually be playing in terms of class, ladder and no way apart? We we know nobody there, but you are in familiar surroundings. Your own familiar surroundings, obviously. Look, I think different players will react differently to, to big crowds, small crowds. You know, playing behind closed doors and, and, and whatnot. Obviously, some players would be be used to playing at the cross. Garage would have played at the cross with six, seven thousand people in it. I'm sure he'll be less affected than maybe one of the younger lads coming in to play, play in you know packed out stadium. Yeah. Um, but for us, you cross the white line and it's it's ninety minutes. I don't think you're you're concentrating or worry too much on who's there or who's watching. To concentrate on your job and uh, as I said, try and get three points.